Hi everybody, uh, this is a private client reading uh, that I am doing and this is a follow-up reading. Um, the client had taken a full-fledged reading before and now they want to know how things have progressed and if there are any changes in uh, 5D or 3D, you know, with their twin. Uh, how he is feeling for them right now, you know and is any contact possible you know uh, contact of the nature like communication is any communication possible so that's what they're trying to inquire and uh, i've done a reading particularly on uh, what changes or how the feelings have uh, transpired ever since they took the first reading so um, hi shiana i'm going to begin with your reading uh, so what i feel right now is uh, corner state uh, of mind and the state of his heart regarding this whole thing that uh, you are going on with him you know with this twin flame journey is that definitely there has been uh, a upward mold a upward swing a upward spiral towards his feelings you know uh, he has a slight inkling he's had that slight inkling in his heart where he is a uh, he is feeling very bored and uh, disappointed regarding the past decisions that he took. And he is somehow calling out to the universe to, uh, to kind of make him meet his soulmate, which, he, which his heart is telling him that it is you, you know. Uh, so he is in this very sorry state of affairs where he is feeling sorry, you know, and he is feeling that he did something which was not in balance, you know, which was not in sync to what he should have done. And he's realizing that, you know, uh, it it was true love and he somehow uh, did not handle it properly in a way that he did not create any balance, you know. So uh, I also see that he has been talking to his friends about it, you know. So he's been talking to some of his friends and acquaintances or somebody close about this feeling that he's having that he did not... Uh, put good balance into the situation uh, before you know and uh, he kind of uh, did not uh, treat you as you deserve to be treated so he's feeling sorry about that and he's kind of calling in towards the universe to send him his uh, send him that soulmate who he did wrong towards you know and he is definitely feeling that he needs to create some balance some inward balance and some outward balance regarding how he dealt with the situations so this is how he's feeling. So it's a very positive sign. He has had a change of heart and he is regretting whatever he did in the past. And he definitely is feeling uh, uh, about that. He's feeling in a good way about you and he sees you. He's seeing you in a new light, you know. So um, he's seeing you in a new light and uh, most definitely his feelings have gone a change that right now he's feeling that reg regret that remorse that what he did was not correct you know and he wants to create a balance and he knows uh, he has got that spiritual knowledge where he feels that it is true love you know and he's also talked to his friends about it about getting advice on how to approach this situation and how to create that balance that was there in the beginning you know so going on to the next point where you asked if it is okay for you to initiate contact right now and uh, I feel that you've had certain mental ideas in the present about how to contact him. Like you've been thinking about this, that what should I send? What should I say, you know, so that it clicks a chord and uh, in him and he responds back or something. You've been thinking about that. There has been activity going on in your brain. You've had that mental activity where you've been thinking about nice little ideas, you know, or small gimmicks kind of a thing. So that you don't uh, overwhelm him or you don't drain him too much and you send the right kind of a message through, you know. So regarding your initiating communication right now at this point, uh, I'm being given a very positive signal to that, Shiana. I'm being given a very positive th signal that you can initiate that communication and you've been already thinking about mental ideas and you've been feeling in this past few days that you need to do that. That's also a, a, is being shown to me, that past activity of yours is being shown to me. And for the present and the future, when I do this, uh, when I ask the source about this, that, uh, you know, should Shiana herself initiate contact or wait for contact to happen? So I'm being given that you can initiate contact in a very positive way. I'm being given, not just a slight way. And you can initiate contact there. You can go ahead with full force, with full magnitude, with a good feeling. You know, you can initiate a text message, a phone call, whatever you feel is right, you know. 
I'm not being shown that it can be a text message or a phone call or a person to person meeting but I'm being shown that you can go ahead on your own initiate contact and that it is good for you to create this you're going to create this communication on your own you're not going to wait for it I'm I'm being shown that and it is perfectly okay for you to initiate that communication and not wait for it because I see that your initiating communication is going to lead to a very prosperous future you know uh with him so i'm being shown that final outcome card which is very prosperous so yes uh communication can be initiated by you and most definitely as i told you before in the reading his his feelings have gone a a very big change you know he's he knows now that it was true love he's feeling disappointed and despair and he's in despair regarding his past decisions he thinks that there needs to be a balance and he's talked to his friends about it and he's calling the universe to send him back the soulmate you know the the person the you you know who was there and now is not there due to his imbalance you know due to his having created that situation so he wants to reverse that situation but he's still in the thinking phases about it and regarding your communication you can go ahead possibly his disappointment and his boredom is going to be broken by your communication and you're going to start communicating again so let me show you the cards uh he is calling in for the soulmate he is calling in he's been praying he's been in despair you look at the guy's face how like you know it's not he's not feeling very happy you know and he's been calling out you know he's been looking towards the gods towards however he prays you know and he's been calling out and uh, he now knows he now knows that it is true love you know he has had that idea and you know you see the faces here also he's in a very sad mood he's finally realized this you know so you see the face of the guy he's still like feeling like that and uh, he's been talking to his friends again like you know again see this he's felt a lot of boredom despair regarding his his imbalance you know he's created some imbalance it was not a balanced situation between the two cups so he's feeling like that his fe- he's feeling like that he's feeling disappointed look at the face of this guy you know and even if other romantic opportunities are being presented to him he is not even looking at them these are new opportunities which are being presented to him but he is just focused on these three cups on the ground which were there in the past he is just thinking about you you know instead of taking any new romantic opportunity and he has been talking to his friends you know he has been talking to his friends and acquaintances about how to solve this problem now going to the second reading where i asked like if you should be initiating contact on your own so i see you this is you the page of swords you have been mentally thinking about what to send how to communicate you know you've been thinking about ideas shyana so this is you and the sword represents the mental ideas you know you've been thinking of ideas you know you see the thoughtful like this this uh, female is in a very thoughtful process you know they're thinking and they are in a very somber mood too they are thinking about what to like you know they are thinking about what to do this is about mental activity this swords is about mental activity you know and then when i ask if this will be a good idea for you to initiate communication so i get the i get the chariot card this is forward movement this is a cart cart going ahead with a white and a black swing you know so this again depicts yin and yang you know so this again gives us the twin flame confirmation in this relationship in a way and secondly it gives shows us that there sh- there can be forward movement you know once you send the text or the email or whatever you want to do there will be forward movement the chariot is a very positive card as regards to forward motion and forward movement you know and then i also got the magician card which means that you have to create on your own you see the infinite sign you can create anything and you see the wand in the magician's hand this means that you can initiate activity on your own or you should initiate activity on your own rather than waiting you know and once you initiate activity on your own it's going to go forward there's going to be forward motion with the chariot you know you see the magician and the chariot so it's going to be forward motion and the outcome card once you initiate contact and there is forward movement the the final card the final card is the 10 of pentacles the most the best card you know the best card of a prosperous life you see these two females and this old man and their pets also there's some dogs also in the picture and 
all these pentacles they depict money so it's going to be a very prosperous decision you know initiating contact so again like you know you initiate contact you on your own you create on your own just like the magician and you'll get forward movement with the chariot and ultimately you'll get lot of prosperity lot of prosperity in terms of love family you know uh, this depicts like lot of prosperity in all areas so this is the final outcome card so definitely i would say you can initiate contact on your own and also that he he is finally you know he has finally realized he's he's calling in for the soulmate who he did not treat in a balanced form who he did not treat in a balanced form and due to that he's feeling utterly in despair and he's not even focused on any new opportunities he's just reminiscing the past opportunities that he lost and he's been talking to his friends about it you know and he has finally realized that it is true love and he is going through that process of realizing maybe in the beginning when you send a communication it might not uh, work in a very positive way but ultimately your communications will give you this result you know the prosperity so you can go ahead shiana best of luck and for all the viewers who are watching who are watching this uh, reading you know um personal readings or follow up readings are available personal love romance readings and twin flame readings are available so if you've watched this reading and you've liked this reading kindly put a comment below to contact me and i will give you all the details regarding the first reading and the follow up readings and other services regarding twin flames which are available thank you so much